Hello, fifth grade, and welcome to the third math lesson for this week. Today we're going to continue on our unit of dividing decimals. However, today we're going to change decimal divisions to whole numbers. Okay? This is going to go along with 5.7 class activity. It's the third page in your packet. All right, now, when I'm talking about division, remember, I have to remember my division vocabulary. Here's my division bar. The dividend is in the den of the division house. The divisor is under the divisor, and the quotient is the queen in the attic, right? Remember, that helps you remember where everything is. Well, this divisor is what we're going to be talking about today. Because sometimes we have a problem where the divisor is a decimal, and that is a problem, and we'll talk about why. All right, so let's put our division bar. We're going to say the divisor is 2 tenths, and we're going to say the quotient is just 6 holes. Sorry, not the quotient, the dividend. We're finding the quotient. All right, now... Here's a problem. This divisor cannot be a decimal number. That's just a rule of division. It doesn't work. So even if those of you who are trying to use a calculator, which I don't want you to do, I want you to use just your brain, it's not gonna work if you punch it in with a calculator. And that's gonna be the dead giveaway that you got it wrong. You need to write this out by hand. Well, how do I make sure that this number, this divisor, is not a decimal? Well, what I can do is I can multiply by 10. Remember, two weeks ago we studied how to multiply a decimal number by 10. All I have to do is shift that decimal point over, boop, one point. Now the decimal point is there. If I do it to the outside of the division box, I have to do it to the dividend in the den. Well, where is a decimal point on the 6? It's not written there. Remember, if you don't see the decimal point explicitly written out, it's always directly to the right of the number. Let's move that over one point. Boop. Hmm, but now I have an empty space. What can I do with that empty space? Fill it in with a zero. Very good. All right, now let's rewrite the problem. Division by. Hmm, if I move my decimal point over once on the six, it is now a 60. If I move my decimal point over once on the two tenths, it is now a two. Very good. All right, now I have 60 divided by two. Well, that's something you can do. Let's work it out together. Six divided by two is three. Three times two is six. Six subtract six is zero. Bring down that zero. Two divided by zero, sorry, zero divided by two is zero. So what did I get for my answer for my quotient? I got 30. Okay. All right, you've got to work that out by hand. Notice the steps I just worked through are off the top of your worksheet. And it says, why does moving the decimal point, the same number of place, give us the same answer? Okay. Because if I only moved the decimal point here, I would have gotten a different answer because my decimal point would have ended up here in between the 3 and the 0. And is there a difference between 3 and 30? You bet there is. So I need to move the decimal point on both the divisor and the dividend. All right, now you're going to be taking the same idea and you only got two questions on your homework below the blue line with the star where you're taking 6 divided by 2 
hundredths and six divided by two thousandths. All right, only two problems on tonight's homework. Reach out to me if you have questions. Good luck.